Hi folks, how you doing? <laughs> uh, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to talk about Cosmic Man. We had something about Cosmic, Cosmic Principles in another video. Well, this is Cosmic Man. Cosmic Man is the one who can uh, understand the principles of cosmos understand cosmic principles and uh, this is a person who uh, has acquired some ability or knowledge or intelligence to modify uh, cosmic influx okay uh, some people uh, follow astrology okay uh, to find out, well, when they should do this, when they should do that, or how to uh, modify uh, moods and so forth and so on. But some people don't. Some people just uh, uh, become re uh, reactionaries. But still they know what to do. But they don't know it in advance. Uh, the, the, the person who's into astrology, astrology should know uh, when uh, certain changes are going to come. You know, and prepare for it ahead of time. The reactionary is is a person who uh, waits till the change come and then uh, he deals with it, or uh, he modifies the cosmic influx, okay, to favor him. In other words, if he's in a bad mood, you know, he uh, he reacts to it. You see, and for example, uh. Secrete hormones, have his body to secrete hormones and that will modify how he's feeling if he's in a bad mood or so forth and so on. You see. So this is a, so there are different ways of dealing with uh, these cosmic principles. Okay. But uh, the reaction, the reactionary, okay, is coming from a uh, negative uh, position. So he reacts to it. You know, and then uh, through this, uh, his reaction, yeah, he modifies. He modifies cosmic energy that has um, uh, entered his body, okay, and caused, uh, well, some discomfort. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, all religious scriptures talk about this, but they talk about it in uh, different ways, you know. And then, then too, there's the interpretation by the clergy, you know, that uh, sort of, well, it's sort of, uh, it's a destroying a legacy, misinterpretation of these cosmic principles. Okay, and the, and the behavior to uh, control, okay, uh, the behavior to command, okay, uh, these things haven't been taught. It's the this these are the legacy to the people, all of us, all humans. But this legacy, you know, uh, some people say, well, stolen legacy, <laughs> okay, or you can say that it's a destroyed legacy because it. People don't get the understanding, and they're unable to deal with this. You know what I mean? Uh, this, let's say, negative cosmic energy. And so, uh, correct interpretation. If, if, the, if the interpretations had been correct early on, you know what I mean, by the clergy, who hands it down to the people, you know, uh, our world would be would be at this point a far better place, because people would have understood more about life, you know, their own life, and how to control, you know, uh, and to uh, to modify, and uh, and learn how to command, and order. Uh, Cosmic energy with one, oneself, you see. Uh, 
controlling, modifying, or transforming negative, negative energy into the positive. You know? Now, uh, scriptures tell us of this. Okay? So, we have a, a Kimite god or netter named Shu. Okay? Uh, Shu and her. Okay? It's like... It's two individuals, two characters in the same person, actually. So, like uh, Moses and Joshua in the Hebrew tradition. It's uh, one individual with two characters, okay? So, okay, in the Hebrew, uh, Hebrew, <laughs> Hebrew uh, tradition, we have uh, Moses, okay? And of course, Joshua. But uh, Moses was supposed to have died. And was supposed to have been buried in the place I believe it was called Gad. And at, at this point, um, it was the devil who was discussing with the angel where Moses was buried, you know. But Moses transformed, okay, into Joshua, you see. Now... What does this have to do with cosmic principle? Well, all this occurred at the winter solstice. Oh, that's cosmic, the sun crossing you know, the line and so forth. And so uh, here we're talking about a cosmic situation and a religious situation too, you might say, you know. But anyway, Moses uh, transformed into Joshua. At the time, the sun crossed over at the winter solstice, when the days begin to become longer than the nights. Or, no, let me say, when the days increase, or daylight increased, okay, when the sun crosses over the winter solstice, all right? And so, uh, at that point, Joshua takes over. Remember, Joshua is the one who went over, over to uh, the promised land. Well, here, that's the promised land. When the days of the sun begin to get longer, you're entering into the promised land. So Moses really, well, the negative energy, okay, is what actually we say died maybe, you know what I mean? But it was a transformation, actually. Uh, and so it's telling us that the human can transform negative energy into positive energy. Well, that's what he does. Okay? And so this comes with... Uh, the same thing holds true when it comes to uh, cosmic emanations. Emanations from the planets that, that uh, pervade our body, come into our body, causing uh, different moods, mood swings or whatever. You know what I mean? Discomfort in the human. Even interfere with his thinking. Decision making, determination, and so forth and so on. People become uncertain and confused sometimes. And this is why. It has to do with influx of cosmic energy. Okay? But this energy can be uh, transformed. The negative can be transformed into the positive. The mythology tells us this through and through. But people don't seem to grasp it, grasp what's really going on with their own body. Their religious scriptures tell them, tell us, okay, all about this. Well, how come people don't know? You know, the re religious scriptures, talk, all of them talk about this very thing. So now we can get into the reactionary action. The person uh, who is the reactionary relative to uh, the cosmic energy, the person who just waits when cosmic energy, the uh, 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 influx enters his body and so forth and so on, causing mood swings and stuff, and then he changes it, you know. So he can transform, okay, this negative influx into positive. Okay. 
just like Moses transformed into Joshua. And then there's the Kemite god Shu. At the same place, at the winter solstice, transforms into uh, Anne Her Shu. So Anne Her is like, uh, <laughs> it's a person, well, Anne Her Shu, a person with two characters. Actually, the same guy. The guy, the person is changing his negative energy into positive. And this is the transformation. And a resurrection, too, because that's what happens at the resurrection also, you know. Okay, folks, uh, have a good one, and uh, I'll be with you, and uh, I have a lot more to talk about. Thank you, and have a good day, folks.